And we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel. Yeah. And we got another good one for you today. Yep. Representing the new knives this week are the brands Civivi, We. Boker. And... Tor. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. First up this week is the We Roxy 3. Right on. The original Roxy, which was designed by Seth and Carol Todd of Todd Knife and Tool, now makes a comeback, but with a few tweaks. Three different options. We've got the blackout one, so it's 7.2 inches overall, with a 3.14 inch Warncliffe CPM S35 VN steel blade with flat grind jimping, and it's about 0.16 inch thick. This version has a black stone wash finish, while the other two have a stone wash finish. The handle on this one is black titanium, while the other sport gray titanium and tiger striped black. Back spacer screws and tip up right carry pocket clip are also made of 6AL4V titanium. These frame locks also feature areas for lanyard and are deployed with either the thumb opening or the front flipper. Oh. Yep. While operating on cage ceramic ball bearings, they come with cleaning cloth stickers, and you can get the latest version of the Roxy, the Roxy 3, starting at just $229.50. At edlightingknife.com. Cheap plug number one. Okay. All right. You first. I'll go first. I actually, I'm, I have an affinity towards the original Roxy. Uh -huh. uh, I'm okay with this. I don't like the front flipper. Everybody knows that already. But I do like this knife. I can open it with the uh, thumb hole. So I'm good with uh, the Roxy 3. Mm -hmm. I like the design of it too. I like the Tiger Stripe version. Mm -hmm. And I like the design of the other models. You know, the ones with the back flippers. The Roxy, <laughs> the Roxy 4. Weird that they went back and did the Roxy 3 after they already did the 4. Mm -hmm. Like a weird movie sequel that you didn't really need or want. They thought would be a good idea. This is kind of like that. No offense. I mean... You took Wee's best knife and you put a front flipper on it. Filled with chagrin. <laughs> Todd, I thought you knew better. Come on. I mean, I love the, the different colored hardware, the titanium. I love it all, except... Why? It's getting the most out of your... Uh, why? Pool of money there. <laughs> let's just move on. Let's just move on. Okay. Next blade is the Boker Quaken Air. Wow. Is that floating? Yes. Like air. The one we almost forgot to mention last week? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're hitting it for you today. So, it's offered in a couple different options. Yeah, there's the regular and the minis, whichever one you prefer. We've got the regular Jewel Jade one with us. Did you expect anything else? Um, so, on the specs, this liner lock is 8.39 inches overall with a 3.54 inch VG10 steel blade with uh, a tip-up pocket clip. Blade is deployed with the jimped back flipper stud. Yep. Nice. And operates on ball bearings. Got the black coated VG10 on this one, but there's also a satin finish one. I think it's on the titanium. Maybe a uh, plain black too. Handle is Jewel JD10, but as you said, you can get it in black G10, Cocoa Bola wood, and titanium. Good recovery. Designed by Lucas Burnley. This folder weighs just 2.89 ounce and comes with a black zippered pouch. Yes. We know you love that. We do. Mm hmm. Hot quality pouch there. Hot you can quality. walk on air with the Boken Quaken Air <clears throat> from alandknife.com for just 6371. There it is. I'm walking on air. I like this one, especially the Jewel J G10. Mm -hmm. It's another slim gentleman's knife from Boker, but you know, a little more beefy to give you a little more leverage than the last one we did. I think it was the Boker Kazen, which is a little smaller, a little oh, more yeah. thin. What about you, C? What do you think of this? I like this knife a lot. A lot. A lot. I like the thin knife style. Uh -huh. But it's got to be long enough. Let's <laughs> imagine your jacket. Maybe. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. This might be um, teal. The design of it and the price point. Mm -hmm. That's it's that's a nice. Uh, I kind of like the mini too, but. I like them all. Yeah, I'm kind of in good. that category too. Yeah. So go ahead. All right. So that brings us to the next tool on the table. I know yeah. you have your hand. Mm -hmm. The Civivi Crit or Crite. Call the whole thing off. I've heard it both ways. Which comes in three options. Jewel J G10, Green Micarta, and Black G10. Guess which one we have. Go ahead, guess. We already know Jewel J. 
that's not what I thought you were going to say. But okay, yes, so this is the Civivi's first compound multi-tool. It has a knife. Hold on. Yeah. Look at that. has a knife in addition to the hex screwdriver, strap cutter, bottle opener, ruler, flathead screwdriver, which could operate as a ply, pry bar in a tight spot. The strictly multi-tool portion is 9CR18 MOV. Stone wash finish, hair over 3 inches. While the stone washed blade with flat grind and jimping is Nitro V Steel. Only a little higher on the HRC scale. Overall, when fully opened, this tool is 10.43 inches. And fully closed, it is, hold on, 4.25 inches. Nice. Yep. Handle on this gray stainless steel liner lock is Jewel J G10. But as we mentioned, you can expand your horizons with the other options. The tools operate on cage ceramic ball bearings and are opened with jimped front flippers. Lastly, there's a uh, wired stainless steel reversible pocket clip and the whole shebang only weighs 3.61 ounce. And they begin at just 72.25. From AtlantaKnife.com. Yeah, I saw the back of this and I thought, mother-in-law update. <laughs> she still lives somewhere else. That is a plus. Yep. I've seen her once in the last 28 days. That's good. That's an update enough for me. That's good. All right. Well, there's a lot to see on this tool. I'll we'll let you go first. What do you think of it? What do I think of it? Well, I'm not a big multi-tool person, but I kind of like this one. I'm not the front flipper thing. You know, we've been said about a million times. I think we ought to stop saying it. Oh, I'm not going to stop saying it. Okay, great. Until we stop doing it. But I like, I like the idea here. It was better than the artisan oh, buddy. ballet song. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what that was. A ballet song kinetic tool trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I like that they're trying to do yeah. something new with Civivi is. Although, like you said, I've seen this multi tool before with Artisan's Kinetic Ballet Song. I think I saw it in Dakota's 7 in 1 tool and some of Kabar's inserts. However, I do really key like. Bar. Gotcha. I was thinking about what you were saying. What did I say? Did I say Kabar? I meant Key Bar. K -bar instead I meant Key Bar. bar. I do that all the yeah. time. Yeah, I do really like that idea. I also see that it's about the size of, say, another popular multi-tool. Hmm, wonder which one. Wonder if it was on purpose. I don't know. I think for the price, the steel, and the options you get, it's a good buy. I will accept the front flipper this time. Because on this type of tool, it's either going to be the front flipper or you're going to have like some type of nail nick opening, manual opening, which I'm not crazy about either. So I think... Just thinking about the type of tool it is, I'd carry it. I never got that nail nick thing on a multi-tool because you're trying to do something and you have to stop and use two hands. Yeah. I don't know. All right, so I'm right there with you on all that stuff. All right. So next gear on the table is the Tor Knives Tomahawk. Brave win! Brave win! Be funny if I threw it at it. Did you just yell Brave Swin? And it knocked the camera I think over. you yelled Brave Swin. I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe. I don't all know. right, so finally something new from one of our favorite handmade in the USA companies. But first... You knew it was coming. Make yeah. sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring the bell. Also, you can keep up with AK and be entered into our giveaways. Going on right now, we've got the Mystery Kaiser Infinity giveaway. Hmm. So if you like, share, comment, and subscribe on this episode or the last one, which we don't mind you going back and watching, nope. you'll be entered to win. You can also get another chance to win if you head on over to AK's blog and answer the AK trivia question. Remember... The answer's in front of you. It's always. The Mystery Kaiser Infinity Giveaway will not go on forever. Make sure you get those in. All right. So, the Tor Knives Tomahawk. Let's just jump into it. Yeah. Available in three different options. Shadow Black, Muted Sage, and Stealth. You know, and it's so stealthy, you can't even see it. Okay? I don't... I don't see it at all. It's... Uh, Anybody? We were supposed to have the stealth on the table. Was somebody slacking? <sighs> I didn't see it. Okay, thanks. Oh, thanks there it that. is! Just shush. Just shush. <laughs> so we've got the muted sage and the stealth one here with us on the table this week. I'm just going to focus on the green one for right now. Alright, zoom it in. Here we go. It's 11 inches overall with a 5.75 inch D2 steel axe head, which is about 0 0.25 inches. I'll show you there with tapered flat grind to reduce weight, though it loses none of its razor sharp edge. There's also a point at the end of the blade that can act as, you know, a breaching or prying tool. 
Tire Thing sports a corrosion-resistant black KG gun coat finish. The double recurve handle made of G10 allows for a comfortable grip and so oh, is it near the head, yep. top or bottom? bottom yep. Oh, that's right, double. Re I'm yeah. getting it now. Uh -huh. There's a lanyard hole, and the liner colors vary from version to version. Like that one has blue. The muted sage has black, while the shadow black has red, and the one we can't see the stealth, it's given away with the blue. Yeah. It's made in the USA in individually serialized tomahawk. Wow. Yeah. Comes with a black Kydex sheath, frog lube. And weighs just 1.3 pounds Not and sure. is only $3.95 at AtlanticKnife.com. All right, I'm gonna go first. All right, you, you go right ahead. That. Yeah. Well, you can be my guest. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that wasn't set up Lumiere. Okay. Oh, Lumiere. I, oh, I, I like it. Tor. That's no secret. They make everything right here in house, like right down to the screws. Their items are always high quality, always cool looking, not to mention the presentation is nice, you know? They got all the extras, the sheath, cleaning cloth, the lube, sticker, mm -hmm. all that. I do think on this one the price is just a touch high, but when you compare it to past axes and hatchets and tomahawks we reviewed before, mm -hmm. the same quality that were really sharp and actually cut and did the job, this is about the average price now. It's $300, $400, $500. That's what it is now. So, if you really want a good axe, a good tomahawk, you know, you should definitely consider this one. That's what they're going to charge. Plus, if you think about it, you take this per pound and that per pound, this stuff's like 800 bucks a pound. I mean, it's, you can't imagine how expensive frog lube is. Wow. All right, here's where I'm at. Okay. I was actually thinking ahead of time. There you go. You know, I'm, I'm not really all that excited about this week's knives. But, boy, I tell you. I like the axe. That's a good, great like it heft is. to it. You can definitely. I would like to see a little more to the head. I don't know. I kind of like it. Do you? Yeah. But I think there's enough there. For what they've done here, I really like this axe. That's all you got, huh? I'd have to use it. Maybe that's not something crazy that I, about the sheet. I'll do later. But it could be because I don't handle. You know what? Axe sheaths are they're, always a yes. pain. Yes. Oh my neck. gosh. I need someone that that's like that I've Saul reinvented did where the sheath. Pulled it over. Yes. Oh I don't like that one. All right. Here we go. Our next it. knife is the we. Wait, wait, I, I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Just, do it. Yeah. You go. Just All toss right. it down. Next up is the we smooth sentinel. Oh, I get it. Yep. Snazzy sentinel comes in four different options. Uh, carbon fiber, the something wood, green micarta, <laughs> and jewel jade. We have the something wood coming with us today. That's great. I'm saying something, you're coughing. That's it's like double coverage All right. there. I'm going to get serious. Okay, see, you can do the specs then. All right. Let's get serious. So this frame lock is 6.97 inch overall with a 2.97 inch CPM 20 CV steel blade with flat grind, jimping, and on this version, a black stone wash finish. Though it does come in regular stone wash as well. It's about 0.1 inch thick and is open with a jimped flipper stud. Right. Operates on smooth. Get it? Yeah. Caged ball bearings. Smooth. I gotcha. Can you expect anything less from the smooth Sentinel? I think not. It also features a 6 AL4V titanium screws, pivot cap, tip up, left and right pocket clip. The handles on all of the models are 6 AL4V titanium with the varying inlays that we mentioned. Yep. And the Wee Smooth Sentinel starts at only $178.50. AtlanticKnife.com. All right, see. Wee Smooth Sentinel, what you think? Once again, I mean, it's it's nice. I like, I normally don't like this tapered look here where it mm -hmm. makes it look smaller, but on this model, now I haven't looked on at the other ones. this model. I really like this knife. I would like to see a little more right there, but I'm good. It's got the jimping, a little bigger maybe. Maybe I could do an XL. That XL. would be nice. But the smooth Sentinel XL. But for 178.50, we. I like it. Yeah. Not bad. Very snazzy. I love the options. High-end handle materials and steel mm -hmm. comes with the extras. A little small. Hmm. I would have to say just a little, but it would make a very classy EDC, no doubt. So. All right. Can't complain. We are on this one, to the right. next knife on the table. I knew that. 
also falls under the, what do you want to call it, classy EDC category. Yep. We just made that up. We did. And that is a Sabivi Relic. If everyone else can do it, so can we. You're darn right. Okay. Made available in four options as well. Burgundy G10, Black G10, and Dark Green Micarta. Available in Damascus and Nitro V. We've got the Nitro V one here to show you. So this folder is a rousing 8.08 .08 inches overall with a 3.48 Nitro V Greystone Wash Blade, which has, of course, the flat grind, the jimping. Sorry, I messed it up. I was messing with it earlier. Jimping right there. It's about 0 0.12 inches thick and comes in about 59.61 on the HRC scale. Opened with the jimped flipper stud and operates on cage ceramic ball bearings. Handle on this one, of course, is the dark green micarta, which shows off the reversible black tip-up pocket clip. Black liners and barrel spacers. This liner lock weighs in at just... 3.83 ounce comes with a pouch cleaning cloth stickers and starts at only 72.25 from atlanticknife.com first i like the name of this i like the square handle look which is a little different than this one like mm -hmm. tapered i like the square one better i like the blade style i like the burgundy one a little more than the green micarta a little weird for me but I do it's very different from what Civivi usually does I think Civivi this time really brought their stuff I like this multi-tool I like the relic it's all good there you go it helps that they haven't done a uh, bunch of front flippers yeah I mean know, I this guess time around this one does have a front flipper but it's part multi-tool so we won't count that you know I'm part multi-tool really yeah on my mother's side oh yeah mm -hmm. well what do you have to say about the Civivi once again, I mean, it's nothing astonishing. You know, it's not like, oh my gosh, I gotta I have it. Because we've seen so many knives. But I like this knife too. I mean, for the price range it's in, I mean, Civivi makes an awesome knife. I like the pocket clip, the way it would be deep carry. Mm -hmm. And I like the size of the blade. And it's got a nice back flipper, which is very important. <laughs> that was my mean look. Wow. Very important. Back flipper. Or no front flipper. Well, okay, so up next is the Tor. Karsumba, no affiliation with Zumba whatsoever. Trust me. So, whoop! Wow, I got more than you got I more than you bargained for. for. Yeah. Oh wow. And we both Jinx. got it. Really? Did you elbow really juice. just say Jinx? You guys do it all the time. I think I just elbowed you. Sorry. It's okay. Okay. I get so, elbowed constantly. I'm used to it. This tactical carry is offered in two options: mm -hmm. burlap green and natural burlap. We of course have the natural burlap on the table today. Coming in at 6.75 inch overall, this precision ground karambit style knife mm. has a 2.5 inch CPM S35B in steel blade that is about 0.18 inch thick with a big jimping. Look at the jimping. Yeah, and That's black nice oxide jimping. finish. Need that too. That's nice. There's the easy to grip canvas micarta handle with lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. However, the usual karambit finger ring mm. was left off to make it easier to conceal by reducing the length. Designed in San Diego, California. Of course, <laughs> this curved carry is ready whenever you are. Wow. It's got a black Kydex sheath, cleaning cloth, and once again, Yay. comes with frog lube. Sticker. Crazy. Wait, wait, I had the lube. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. Try to diss the lube. It was underneath the cleaning. That'll last you a long time, too. Yep. Weighing in only 6.5 ounces, you can come snag your own Karsumba from alandknife.com for just 235. Wow. I like this one too. I don't know what's going on with me tonight. I got, I got to be, you know, more disagreeable. <laughs> you do. Hate it. I like Go. the style of it. It fits my hand. What are you, I don't what have are you to, doing? Look at that. What are you doing? I mean, look at it. I have a very strong affinity for this one and it's just the right size for tactical concealable purposes. High quality steel with really defined jimping. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, I feel like if you're going to make a karambit, I want, nay, I expect to see a finger ring, okay? Just to help with this reverse grip that karambits are practically made for. I understand why Tor left it off, but I feel like this finger is just, it's lost. What's, what's confused? What's so happening? So what you're saying is, if you like, for you to like it, they got to put a ring on it. <sighs> yes. Wow. I understand why Tor left it off. Okay, I get it. But personally, I'm just not for that design call. 
Okay, that's just my opinion. I do think, regardless of the ring, that this is an excellent quality knife, and it's entirely made in the USA, so definitely worth it. We're going to switch sides here right now. <laughs> you know, Joel, everything doesn't have to fit neatly in a box. Okay. Unfortunately, we have made it to our final blade, the Civivi Bow. Yeah, okay. This model comes in four different ver variations. Really? Yeah, for right what, now. What a, what a is, it's going to be like 4,000 by the time we're done. Probably. Black G10, Jewel Jade G10, Purple G10, and Green Micarta. Yep, Jewel Jade here with us today. Can I get a hey -o? Hey -o. Are you hey -o. You want me to do that? Wow. Wendy would have hey -oed. Huh. Anyways. I could hear her from across the room if she were here. If she were here. Yeah. She went home early because she was <laughs> tired. Hear her. Across the room. She was tired of our crap. She's like, I'm going this, home. I think I accidentally said <laughs> You did. This <laughs> liner lock is 6.68 .6 inch overall with a 2.92 inch Nitro V jimped blade. Flat grind, jimping, and on this one, black stone washed finished. It's about 0.1 inch thick and is opened with the jimped flipper stud. Bam. Operating on cage ceramic ball bearings all the way. Designed by Brad Zinker who put his little initials there just for us. The bow features stainless steel tip-up right carry pocket clip, liners, screws, and barrel spacer. Lastly, it weighs 2.11 ounces, comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and sticker, and it starts at only $65.75. Adelangknife.com. You know what those uh, initials remind you of, right? I know what they remind <coughs> me right. of. Dun, 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 I like dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Go ahead. It's your turn. Focus. focus. Wow. I'm focused. What do you think of this? Think of this I'm knife? focused. If you've got that, that's awesome. Don't All right. I like this knife also. It's a little small, but I mean, it's Jewel Jade. It's in the price range it Look, needs to be. Just because you slap Jewel Jade on it doesn't mean it's going to save it. <laughs> I want you to put that on a t shirt. Jewel Jade, don't save it. <laughs> this is a nice little knife. I mean, I I'm not have, into I the little knife. I think we have switched places because I'm a little disappointed. You built up our hopes with this cool multi-tool and this awesome relic. This one is just a little plain. It's a little small. There's no lanyard hole. I mean, overall, it's okay. I mean, it cuts good. It yep. opens swiftly and it, it uh, what's that? I can't remember the word, but locks up, lock up, locks up great. Okay. But it's nothing to write home about. I mean, I'm not going to go tying yellow ribbons around the tree for this. Well, it's all right. They all don't have to be something to write home well, about. Well, they do. Know? They do because they have to have something that makes it different from all the other knives. This one has it. This one has it. These have it. These. This one doesn't. This That's just... tough when you get about 9,000 I know, knives. but maybe it's because I'm right. comparing it at all. Here we go. It's ready? great stuff. That was the last blade on the table for this week. Before we get to our favorites, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. As well as ring the bell. All so you can be entered in the mystery Kaiser Infinity giveaway. You can also head on over to AK's blog and answer the AK trivia question. If you do that, you'll be entered to win. Two chances. Man, those odds are better than that arcade claw machine. Mm -hmm. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram. IGTV. IGTV and Rumble. Didn't even give me time. I did it too. Always <laughs> posting knife pictures, reviews, videos, and more, so catch us on there. How about that? Okay, my favorite knife of the week is... I already know. Where'd it go? Oh, it's right here in front of me. <laughs> it is the Tor knife. I love this little knife. Karasuma, huh? You know, we got, I got so many flippers. I don't have knife enough karambit style knives. Oh, I'm sorry for those of you at home. We can't. I no, don't no have reverse carry. It does not deserve that. <laughs> I do like other shoes. I mean, it's nice. nice. I, yeah. I'm being a little harsh. I'm sorry. She is. She likes to be disagreeable. I love noticed. being disagreeable. Da, 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 da. Okay. I'm thinking it's going to be the relic. So, like how big beefy it is, a square what? handle. What? Yeah, I was going to go this, but the front flipper thing. I back up Boker Air. <laughs> I like the Roxy, but once again, a front flipper thing. I got Roxy. So, yeah. I got this one, and maybe that maybe it's tied. It's tied. So. So you couldn't decide. Is. No, it's a Relic or the Boker Quick and Air. It's one of those. Can't beat that. Can you tell us which one's your favorite. That could be your entering. <laughs> With that, I'm C. And this is... Jewel. Just Jewel. And we are signing off. Da, 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 da.